want to make a toast to our first 4th of July together. And here's to learning and researching and becoming more educated and better versions of ourselves and overcoming whatever hardships we've had and coming out stronger in the end. Here's to the next year restoring my old cars and driving to the Grand Canyon. Here's to getting out of Cairo. Please touch mine. <laughs> Here's to my single life. I'm having fun being single. I think that sounds like a really good plan. I'm proud of you. I am so proud of you. So I'm single right now, and honestly, since me and my ex broke up, I do think I see things a little differently now just because I've experienced like a very close relationship with someone. And I feel like that's made me realize how much I need to learn before I'm ready for something so serious. I really thought I loved her. I thought she loved me. But I didn't think it through all the way. I was considering marriage mostly because I just thought the first person you have feelings for is the person you have to marry. I mean, that's what my parents taught or raised us to think. But I'm not ready to settle down because I have so much freedom ahead of me and so much time. Do you ever feel like your upbringing that was so strict about relationships and what was appropriate and what wasn't? Do you ever feel like that's almost a hindrance now when it comes to realizing that, like, it's okay to be young and date. Yeah. My parents always just said, like, God will show you the one you're supposed to marry. Um, and I don't doubt that, but I don't believe it's going to come without dating. 